All right, ladies and gentlemen, it is Midweek Praise on the Best Gospel, the Best Praise Talk Show in America, the TMA Radio Show. Tonight it is Midweek Praise, and we just going to give God some praise tonight. We started a little bit late tonight. We do apologize, but we had a revival service we went to. But anyway, we're still praising God at 11.07 p.m. So you, those that just tuned in, come on, let's give God some praise. So this is the day that the Lord has made. I shall rejoice and be glad in it. Come on. Hey, we got weather coming up. We got more information coming up. So stay tuned and we'll be right back. For this day, hallelujah, we thank God for watching over us through these storms. We thank God for just a brand new day. We thank God for new mercies each and every day. We're just so grateful, so thankful. We're going to go with the weather forecast tonight. Right now, we're looking at a low of 74 degrees. And then we have on Thursday, partly cloudy skies, high of 96 with a low of 76. And Friday, chance of thunderstorm and rain. Have 94 with a low of 74, and that's your two day and a half forecast. All right, my brothers and sisters, right now we are um, in the in the time of the segment. We just started the show, and what we want to do is play this song uh, for all the listeners because God is a sovereign God, and He makes no mistakes. He watches over us. He He's gonna fix all that we see that is wrong. All we have to do is keep praying and keep having faith and keep believing and knowing and trusting that he will come through for us. And and if you don't believe that, then you're going to continue to have setbacks, continue to have problems that arise that you try to fix. You're going to wreck your brain trying to fix them. But if you will believe that he is and he will do what he say he's going to do, then you have no worries. You, you understand that. He's going to make a way out of no way. You understand that that trouble don't last always. You understand that in the midst of your turmoil, in the midst of your problems, He is there. Those that believe have faith and know that tomorrow will be better and my future looks even greater. So we want you to know that and we want to play this song to all my listeners out here right now. Sovereign God on the TMA Radio Show.
There aren't even words to describe just how great you are in all your majesty. You continually provide for me. There just isn't anything that you can't do. Lord, I've seen Trust you all the more because you are you are the sovereign God the sovereign God and you're bigger than all bigger than all my problems every and every situation So I will put every situation into your capable hands. I don't have to know the plan because you are. You are the sovereign God. You're bigger. Take all your birth.
Isn't he wonderful? Isn't it so wonderful to be able to praise him wherever you are? You don't have to wait to go to church to a building. You don't have to wait to a certain time for the priest to come in. But you can praise God anywhere, anytime, any place. And we're just so thankful for that. We're thankful to Jesus for making it possible for us to go to God through prayer in his name. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Woo! Hallelujah. I feel good. I feel great. I'm telling you right now, if you praise him, amen, if you just lift up lift up the name of Jesus, if you call upon his name, say, Jesus, I need you now. If you just call his name, say, Jesus, I can't do it without you. If you say, Jesus, I want you to come into my life, he will be there. All you have to do is call on the name. But while you there, for those that are listening and looking in on Facebook and those that are over the airwaves, we want to thank you uh, for tuning in each and every week. But we want you to take time right now. If you're at your home or you're at your job, wherever you are listening and looking, come on, we're going to give God the praise. Amen. Right now. Come on, let's give God praise. Amen. It's nothing but the blood that washed us. We didn't do it. If we wanted, if we could do it, we would have been done it. But because he had enough of love for us, amen, he died on Calvary Cross for you and I. But we just thank God for raising him up from the dead. We thank God, amen, for giving him all power. We thank God for the son Jesus, amen. The blood, hallelujah. Oh, it's nothing like the blood that touches you, that cleans you up, amen, the blood, hallelujah, the blood of Jesus that watches us, amen, white as snow, it's the blood that paid the debt for our sins, the blood, oh my God, my God, my God, the blood, Woo. I don't know, I, 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 I tell you what, I, I feel good, I feel good, y'all, I thank God for the opportunity to talk each and every night on this radio broadcast, and now I'm just starting to use Facebook, uh live so you know i'm still working out the bugs it freezes up sometime and i just don't understand why it might it might be just my phone uh but real quickly i have some church announcements third sunday hour of power with the word you can uh listen in by telephone you can dial 218-548-2848 and the code is 81056 
Again, that number is 218-548-2848, and the code is 81056. And you can also tune in live on the TMA Radio Show. That's this third Sunday, Hour of Power with the Word, starting at 7 o'clock p.m. So if you don't have anything to do, amen. If you know somebody that's in need of a word, you know somebody on the job that's struggling with stuff, you know somebody that feel like they want to give up, you need to call, you need to let them know we will be here third Sunday at 7 o'clock on the TMA Radio Show. And they can call in on the 9, 218-548-2848, and the code is 81056. We're asking all preachers, teachers to tune in also, preachers, teachers, amen, evangelists, lay people, prophets. We are, we asking everybody to come on because we know that when we come together where two or three are gathered in his name, he, he will be in the midst. And so we're asking for you, you and you to come in and tune in that we have a powerful time in the Lord, that somebody give a testimony, that somebody give a praise report, that somebody let somebody else know that he lives. Amen. And uh, if you are enjoying the broadcast, the TMA Radio broadcast, uh, we here want you to know that we are thankful for your listening ears. And we also would like, if you will, donate today. It will be your blessing to help this ministry continue to broadcast around the world. We're not just local in the backyard. We're, we're worldwide. So we just thank God for that. But we are asking for your donations, those that want to, want to support this uh, radio broadcast ministry, that we can continue to, to help people in our communities. Because y'all, believe it or not, people call in, text all the time, looking for help. The uh, government taking a lot of these programs that help families when they're in need out. They say they don't have money. And so a lot of times people tune in. Uh, they they know we was able to help families down through the years, but we have great need of your financial support, and we are just doing the, the work of the Lord. But and we are praying, but we do need uh, it do take money to continue to help people with their uh, financial situations as it comes. But also we want to continue to build this ministry up. We are trying to get a building. Amen. And uh, one day we want to hire staff to be able to go out into the communities around the world and broadcast and, and that it can be heard here on the show. We want to be able to cover uh, local high schools, uh, football games, basketball games, and we want to put young people to work. But we do need a building. And if anybody listening want to donate a building, we need some office space where we can start out. We don't need nothing big, but if you want to donate office space to us, amen, that will be a blessing too, but we definitely need those that want to donate to the show. You can email ministeraccuratshow at gmail.com. Again, that's ministeraccuratshow at gmail.com. And we'll be right back with more. Yo, these streets is watching and they need no binoculars to see imposters. The streets need gospel and faith will blind sick, possessed and dead rise. And mass murder does nothing for the paralyzed. But yo, this army is different. It transforms lives. So first the lame walk and then the lame ride. And when the lame talk, that's when his name fly. Even in places where it's illegal to say God. AK hits the door. They hit the floor, clutching up every book that they searching them for. And even though these refugees ain't seen church, they memorized every Verse. This is for the eight-year-old who goes home to the favela, singing songs under his breath, acapella. That preteen weeps on the streets of Boston. This the price the crocodile tears lacosted. Nails in a back that was shredded like a cheese grater. These lines bring heat like the equator. And in the street, we ain't fighting what we see, player. Wrestle the air condition, AC Slater. You have to fix the mind before you can bestow the blessing. Because until they get their mind right, invest in them is going to leap out of the crevices of a mind that refuses to change. Look at your neighbor and ask him, do you have a mind to change? Change, 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 change. From Angola to South Beach, big like Lebowski. Gonna fly us home on a window or a aisle seat. Lift two arms to the place where the clouds be. Even if you eating from where Oscar the Grouch be. The good news is he's coming real soon. And if your stomach aches, then he's coming with food. And if your heart breaks, then he's coming with tools. And if you have faith, then he's coming for you. You. 
Yeah, he's coming for you. And if your life's gray, then he's coming with hues. Rose from the grave for these colorblind fools. Poured out his red and it covered our blues. And here's some more good news that the situation changes when your mind renews. Here's the time to choose red or the blue. Win or the lose, awake or the snooze. The street guy, street guy, street guy, street guy, street guy. Streets need gas, need gas, need gas, need gas. Wait for an answer. If they said no, drag them to the altar. All right, my brothers and sisters that are tuning in, listening uh, on the radio broadcast, Facebook, I'm gonna read some scriptures for you tonight. All right, tonight's scriptures for Mick We Praise is starting off with uh, Matthew the sixth chapter, six verse. Matthew six and six for those listening out. The word says, but thou, when thou prayeth, enter into thy closet. Sometimes we need to go into a hiding place. Sometimes you got to go alone. Sometimes you got to get by yourself and have some me time with God. Here it says, but when thou prayeth, enter into thy closet. Sometimes you just got to close yourself up with God to be able to really commune with him. And when thou hast shut thy door, pray to thy father, which is in secret. And thy father will see if in secret shall reward thee openly. You go in there, you go in there with a problem. You go in with, uh, into the closet with things you can't fix. Your kids might be acting up or your kids might need prayer. Yo, you might need to pray for somebody on the job so you won't lose your mind. You got to go shut yourself up. Sometimes you got to go in the closet. And, and, and then when you go in the closet, you got to shut the door. And by you shut the door, it's just you and God. Amen. No distraction. No TV to look at. You no doors to look at. No answer the doorbell. But you just shut yourself up. And, and when you shut the door, pray to the Father, which is in secret. Amen. We praying to God. God, I need you now. God, I can't work this situation out. God, I need you to come in. I need a healing. God, God, you said that uh, if I have faith, God, as a much size of a mustard. The, uh, see God, Amen. A size of a mustard seed. You all know how small a size of a mustard a mustard seed is. That is a small, gr like a grit pebble. I mean, a pebble. You know, a small. Uh, uh, you just have that much faith. But but close yourself up. Get away from the neighbors. Get away from those people that calling you on your phone. Seem like every time you need something from God, here comes somebody distracting you by a phone call. Y'all know I'm telling the truth. Somebody calling you up with some kind of mess, some kind of gossip. When you really need something from God, here comes somebody else trying to stop what you what you trying to do. Shut yourself up. And don't even answer the phone. Matter of fact, just let it go to voicemail because I need some. And when you really need something from God, shut yourself up in the door and don't be bothered by nothing. Amen. And Luke 11 and 9 says that, And I say unto you, ask, listen now, and it shall be given you. What? All you have to do is ask. If I believe, and all, and all I got to do is ask, man, ask, and it shall be given you. Seek, and ye shall find. See, you got to find, you got to be searching for something. If you ain't looking for nothing, you ain't going to get nothing. But, but I need to be looking. Amen. If I want more of God, then I got to be seeking more of God. I got to be searching the word more. I got to, you know, dedicate more. Amen. Ask. See, you got to realize you ask. How, you ain't asking. Sometimes you, you we think that uh, God just going to give it to us because, you know, he know we need it. No, you got to ask for it. Whatever you need. And I say unto you, ask, and it shall be given to you. Uh, seek, and ye shall find not. And it shall be open unto you. That you ought to knock. Amen. Here it says, ye shall find. And then it says, knock. It says, knock. Now, the, the word of God says also that there is a knock at the door. And it asks, will you open the, the door? And, and see, here it says, knock. We are, if you knock, God is going to open the door. He's going to open that door. You, all you got to do is knock. But I'm going to tell you right now, it, it, it sometimes we, when you need something, really need something, when you really need something, after you don't pray, it, it, even if it hadn't manifested itself, even though it hadn't shown itself up, sometimes you got to give God a praise before the breakthrough come. But praise Him before the healing take place in your body. Praise Him before you get that job 
you go get to that job. You got to praise him through everything. Sometimes, you know, we, we be in expectation and we say, well, Lord, it ain't came yet. You're going to wear yourself to death. You can say, well, Lord, I've been waiting. I've been waiting. I've been waiting. But your time and, and God time is different. My time and God time on when I think he should do it and, and he's going to give it to me is different. But 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 I'm encouraging those listening tonight, those that are on the radio, that if you will praise him before the breakthrough come or praise him before the doors open. Amen. For, for Psalms 150 and 4 says to praise him with the tamarind and dance. What? Let me let me rewind this. What date, David? What are you saying to me here in song, brother? It, it, you're saying praise him with not only a tamarind. Tamarind is a, is a symbol of an instrument, a tool. But not only he want me to praise him with the tamarind, but he also want me to dance. And, and so many people think that people shouldn't be dancing in church and praise God. What did it say? It says praise him with the tamarind and praise him with dance. My Lord, and praise him with string instruments and organs. Well, that seemed like all the instruments we see today. String instrument, keyboards and string instruments, harps, amen, and organs. You know, organs. What? Praise him with all these instruments. And people telling you they don't need all that stuff in the church. It shouldn't be in the church. Well, why is it? You, you would need to, you forget to read part of your, you just read some of your Bible that you just, you know, feel like you can, you can say, you know, this is all it's saying. No, we got to read everything in the everything. And, and, and from the, from the old to the new, because guess what? If, if your, uh, your mother didn't have a mother, or if it wasn't for your grandmother, your mother wouldn't be here. So everything has an old. You know, my grandmother passed away 102 years old. Amen. And if it weren't for my grandma, I wouldn't be here. So, so because she, 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 she's of the past, and my mama came in the future. I, I, I was, I was a, I was a future too. So, you can't have one without the other. You can't have the Old Testament without the New Testament. You can't have one without the other. But here, the Word of God is telling us to praise Him with tamarind, praise Him. Amen. With dance and praise him with string instruments and organs. And Psalm 30 and 11 says, Thou hast turned for me my mourning into dancing. David is saying that in my in, in, in my valley experience, it, in when my life felt like it was in shambles, you, you turned my mourning into dancing because you gave me the joy. Amen. You gave me the joy. Hallelujah. To be assured that God, you on my side, that you're going to do just what you said you're going to do. You're going to make way out of no way. You're going to break, amen, barriers in my life. You're going to, woo, tear down strongholds. I believe it. Amen. Thou has turned for me my mourning into dancing. Thou has put off my sackcloth. Sackcloth, form of clothing, amen, that they use when people were, were buried or in that time of mourning. Hallelujah. But, but God... God is going to turn that morning into dancing because when we understand that he gives us victory, we can shout hallelujah. We can lift up our holy hands. Amen. Because we know for sure without a shadow of a doubt that he is real within us, within our spirit. And he's going to do exactly what he said he's going to do. Turn <laughs> my morning into dancing. And thou hast put off my sackcloth. And girded me up with gladness. God is going to lift us up. Man will not lift us up. We Sometimes we look for people to lift us up. And you don't want people to put you up there. Because the fall is hard. And the fall is greater. The, the, the coldness of the, of the hurt that you're going to endure. When you want man to put you up here. But when you allow God to elevate you. And God to put you in a position. And God to do for you. And you didn't count on man. To put you in a position that God has put you in. Then it's going to be better for you. Because people appraise you one minute. And tear you down the next. They on your side one minute. And the next minute they stump you to the ground. But when God elevates you. Amen. The difference is that. That is up to us to stay or grow. It's up to us to keep rising up or stay the same. It's up to us. And I just thank and praise God because guess what? Destiny relies in these hands. Amen. And if you want a difference, then you got to believe and trust in the word. And yes, we you don't believe that you can't believe that you live in this world and you're not gonna endure something. And it ain't always sinning, people. You know, some people say, uh, they going through. They must be doing bad. They must be sinning. 
Sin ain't always got to take place because somebody go through. I go through. My wife go through. We gonna go through trials and tribulations. Gonna be with through and face us all the days of our lives. But the difference is we have a choice to not fold up and fold in. We got we got a belief and enough faith to know that this too shall pass. Amen. That's just scripture for you tonight. And we're going to continue the show. Amen. On the TMA Radio Show. Because until they get their mind right, everything you invest in them is going to leap out of the crevices of a mind that refuses to change. Look at your neighbor and ask them, do you have a mind to change? Wait for an answer. If they said no, drag them to the altar. I got love for my city. Ain't no doubt about that. You can tell by the way that I walk till my hat. Mama told me. Baby, there'll be days like this Where the wicked will try to tempt you The evils will try to bring you It's the ways of the world So baby, no need for tissue Mama, she raised a man Baby, I'm so official I was dealing with issues from past shit that I've been through I know the flesh is weak That's why I pray for the mental Our Father who are left Protect us from evil men Our Father who are left Protect us from evil men Our Father who are left Tell them they got till midnight to get that fix Our Father who are left They got till midnight to get all jealousy, all pettiness, all unforgiveness, all strife, all malice, all confusion, all blaming other people for your mistake. You got till midnight to get rid of every poison that's hindering you, every insensibility that's stopping you from what God is about to pour into your life. Woe be unto you if you go into another year and waste another year with the old mentality while somebody's in the hospital. Begging God for the opportunity that you have right now. You better step into this moment.
faith. I talked to a cat the other day, and he was like, man, I really want to come to Christ, but I got to clean my life up first, get my sins together. I told him, I used to think that way too. I thought I had to change myself before I could come to Christ, but Christ changed me. Let me tell you, my story starts like this. It's 546 in the morning, tossing and turning, chest burning, sermons in my head keep reoccurring, having visions in my head of a kid, crying at the feet of the father for all the wrong things that he did. Now I'm sweating in my sheets, can't sleep, my mind keeps telling me I'm six feet deep, don't remind me, even though I'm still alive, I can't tell, the way I'm living my life, I feel I'm going to hell, God, they telling me I should accept you, that you had to leave the world, cause the world left you, reason I can't change. Like a mystery to me So I make believe there really is a heaven for a G Even though they say you love the world so much You shed your blood, God I feel I'm too messed up for love They tell me come as I am, but I smell like smoke My whole life's full of sin, cause it's all I know The Bible told me that you died for my sins If I believe in Christ, to save me from the end But I'm scared to ask you to save me My heart's so evil, I got thoughts that's full of hatred My life is a mess. Will you take me as I am? Will you take me as I am? I know the way I'm living is wrong, but I can't change on my own. Trying to make it alone. I wonder, how could you love me when my life's so ugly? But you came down and died for me. Will you take me as I am? I know the way I'm living is wrong, but I can't change on my own. Trying to make it alone. I wonder, how could you love me when my life's so ugly? But you came down and died for me. I'm free to try to be the man that my daddy never taught me to be. I'm grown up now. Life ain't what I thought it would be. I made many mistakes in my past I can't fix. Now I'm staring at this crucifix, tatted on my wrist. Is it true what they're telling me? Am I just crazy? Did you bleed on the cross for my sins to save me? But why would you die for me? My whole life I've been working for Satan while he fed lies to me. And now I'm hearing too much, trying to get a true touch of a love that can change me. I'm all screwed up, figure hell is what I deserve. But your word says we all fall short, so I guess we all ought to burn. Understand. No matter my past, you still take me as I am. Will you take me as I am? I know the way I'm living is wrong, but I can't change on my own. Trying to make it alone. I wonder, how could you love me when my life's so ugly? But you came down and died for me. Will you take me as I am? I know the way I'm living is wrong, but I can't change on my own. Trying to make it alone. I wonder, how could you love me when my life's so ugly? But you came down and died for me. Will you take me as I am? I had a few last words to give. I'll be telling people the reason to live. The reason to die, united with the king in the sky. This life is passing us by, I got no reason to lie. You'll never give the world enough, they'll hunger for more. They're fickle, their ways are nothing to the wondrous Lord. More security than the man that left you. More love than the moms who kept you. He'll always accept you, be everything you're supposed to. Let Christ rule your heart, mind, body, and soul, cause he chose you. And if the world don't know you, it don't matter, you're God's child and he'll never disown you. Your purpose on earth. And it don't matter if the world don't see us We still mean the world to Jesus Will you take me as, as I we am? Were. I know the way I'm living is wrong But I can't change on my own Trying to make it alone I wonder, how could you love me when my life's so ugly? But you came down and died for me Will you take me as I am? I know the way I'm living is wrong But I can't change on my own Trying to make it alone I wonder, how could you love me when my life's so ugly? But you came down and died for me Will you take me as I am? Yeah, we say saved by grace through faith not works, ain't nothing you could do, ain't nothing I could do that could get us this great salvation that we got, man. It's only Christ. So if you feel like you gotta clean yourself up before you can come to him, forget it. Just come to him. He'll take you as you are, and he'll change you from the inside out. Listen, y'all. Hey, I got some great news. As I was watching a little bit earlier today, I was glad to see in Raleigh that the Bloods and the Crips called a truce. We have been praying, and even and, you know, every time you know, we looking at the things that are worse 
But we're so happy uh, and we pray that this continue, the truce continue. We pray the Bloods and the Crips are called a truce. These are the Raleigh gangs. And you know we've been praying that the community shape up, the community turn itself around with the violence. And you know if it's ever time to change, is it's this is the season. It's this season right now. If ever you want to make a difference in your life, you tired of living the way you're living, you tired of the, all the things that that you're facing, running away from God. If ever time to change, it's this season. And we want you to know that we're here to pray for you, pray with you. We're here to lift up the name of Jesus because because of him, we are everything we have, we are everything we are right now today. And we just thank God for his son. And we just thank God for moving across America because it, it looks worse. It looks bad. People say it's going to get worse. But we know we have enough faith to know that regardless of what man say it may be, we know what God can do. And we just thank and praise God for that. We're going to continue to broadcast and we'll be right back with more. When I'm done, the very best I can.
Highest praise, highest praise, highest praise, giving God our highest praise, hallelujah. Well, we got one song left for you tonight. We hope that you enjoyed Midweek's praise tonight. We bless God tonight for all that tune in. We thank him, thank him, thank him for just giving us a tool to deliver the message, deliver the word, encourage, empower, and play the best gospel. Get this. <laughs> best gospel around I got tongue twisted but we just thank God for what he's doing on the show and one day we'll have a building and one day we'll be able to hire not only uh, older people but young people in high school uh, uh, just to you know teach them how to do media teach them how to go out into, into the community and do different things uh, we, we want to do that in the name of Jesus. We want to do that and we want you to donate if you can and will to this online radio ministry. Again, you can email me at ministeractorshow at gmail.com and say, hey, brother, uh, we want to uh, we want to donate to your your radio broadcast ministry. And I'm telling you, people uh, are listening in around the world. But we have a lot of people in the 
Wendell, Riley, Durham, and all over Charlotte, Texas, Florida. I mean, everywhere. And we just praise God for that. You know, I'm keep pushing it. I'm going to keep pushing it. And one day, it's going to come to pass. We're going to have a building. We're going to have some vans. We're going to make some trips. We're going to go out into the community. We're going to be there to support people in these communities of America. And, and we're going to do this. I'm telling you we're going to do it. I just know we're going to do it. And we just think, we're just we going to thank God before it happens. Again, I love you. Meet me here tomorrow night between 9 and 10 p.m. for Thursday night. Have a blessed night tonight and a wonderful tomorrow. And we'll see you soon. Amazing grace, how sweet the sound that saved a wretch like me. And I once was a lost, but now I'm found. Was blind, but now I see so clearly. And hallelujah, grace like a rain falls down. Shining as the sun